Savitri, Book One, The Book of Beginnings, Canto Three, Page Thirty Six, Second Line. At last was one a firm spiritual poise, a constant lodging in the eternal's realm, a safety in the silence and the ray, a settlement in the immutable. His heights of being lived in the still self. His mind could rest on a supernal ground and look down on the magic and the play where the god child lies on the lap of night and dawn and the everlasting puts on time's disguise to the still heights and to the troubled depths his equal spirit gave its vast ascent a poised serenity of tranquil strength a wide unshaken look on time's unrest faced all experience with unaltered peace indifferent to the sorrow and delight untempted by the marvel and the call immobile it beheld the flux of things calm and apart supported all that is his spirit's stillness help the toiling world inspired by silence and the closed eyes sight his force could work with a new luminous art on the crude material from which all is made and the refusal of inertia's mass and the grey front of the world's ignorance and nescient matter and the huge errors of life. As a sculptor chisels a deity out of stone, he slowly chipped off the dark envelope line of defense of nature's ignorance, the illusion and mystery of the inconscient in whose black power the eternal wraps his head that he may act unknown in cosmic time. A splendor of self-creation from the peaks, a transfiguration in the mystic depths, a happier cosmic working could begin and fashion the world shape in him anew. God found in nature, nature fulfilled in God. Already in him was seen that task of power. Life made its home on the high tops of self. His soul, mind, heart became a single sun. Only life's lower reaches remain dim. But there too, in the uncertain shadow of life, there was a labor and a fiery breath the ambiguous cowled celestial puissance worked watched by the inner witnesses moveless peace even on the struggling nature left below strong periods of illumination came lightnings of glory after glory burn experience was a tale of blaze and fire air rippled round the argosies of the gods strange riches sailed to him from the unseen splendors of insight filled the blank of thought knowledge spoke to the inconscient stillnesses rivers poured down of bliss and luminous force visits of beauty storm sweeps of delight reigned from the all-powerful mystery above 
then stoop the eagles of omniscience a dense wail was rent a mighty whisper heard repeated in the privacy of his soul a wisdom cry from rapt transcendences sang on the mountains of an unseen world the voices that an inner listening hears conveyed to him their prophet utterances and flame wrapped outburst of the immortal word and flashes of an occult revealing light approached him from the unreachable secrecy an inspired knowledge sat enthroned within whose seconds illumine more than reason's ears an ictus of revealing lustre fell as if a pointing accent upon truth and like a sky flare showing all the ground a swift intuitive discernment shone one glance could separate the true and false or raise its rapid torch fire in the dark to check the claimants crowding through mines gates covered by the forged signatures of the gods detect the magic bride in her disguise or scan the apparent face of thought and life